So Christophe, we are both of each other in the golf industry since the 90s, end of the 90s. Very long, yeah. Uh, we have seen the evolution of the technology in the golf industry. I'm sure you remember in the 90s with the big camera, then we had the, the first mobile phone, in the, the first iPhone uh, with camera in 2008, then the big explosion of the launch monitor, and then we are in an era of ground reaction forces measurement, force plate, dual force plate, uh, kinematic as well, uh, markerless, and I'm sure you remember uh, back a few decades ago and still now, we, <coughs> we still seeing that on social media. We still have a coach, golfer, saying that at the top of the swing, you have to ring the bell. And I've got a good question for you. What is your thought on that one? The thing is, if you look on the video, it will look like you're actually like moving the hands down, ringing on something. And yeah, they are lowering, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think it's not about, you have to understand, it's not an isolated movement where you just do this alone. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why these hands are going down or something uh, that happens way before that. And we know that force precedes motion. So, Correct. so actually what happens is in a great golf swing, and when you see these beautiful ring the bell moves, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe you want to hold yeah. the iPad for a second. Yeah. Uh, if you do this uh, here, actually what's happening is they're actually pushing at a certain point away yeah, from the 12 foot here. So it, and this happens typically right here at transition. There's a peak of the lateral force. And if you do that here, you will actually get uh, in, an, in a great opportunity to move the hands down very effortless, actually. So what we did is we pre-recorded my swing. I was not a very bad player, let's put it this way, like 20 years ago. Actually. Yeah, uh, so I think that this is um, at least a golf swing which has a, a sequence to it, mm -hmm. okay? And we can see here, um, if, we, if we look here, we can see actually the arrows here on the avatar here, and you will see that everything's tilting towards the target, which is mm -hmm. means I'm actually pushing myself away, away with my feet, target. yeah, away from the target. Yeah, you can see there is the green dot here, which is the center of mass of my body. It's a, a great new feature Smart mm -hmm. to Move has, and and uh, you have to understand if you use the distance between the the yellow arrow, which is like the combined vector, the bigger the difference between the green dot and the arrow becomes, that's called a moment arm. Moment arm it's yeah. a moment arm, yes. And, and that's actually in the frontal plane something which creates the tilting and the force mm -hmm. to get the arms down fast. Because we know, we know that actually the arms, after they have done the transition, mm -hmm. They actually get really fast in the first part of the downswing, mm -hmm. and then actually they get slow again, and that uh, gets the energy into the in the club. But just by pulling it down like a bell and yeah. doing nothing with the body properly, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. When you look at at my uh, swing here, you can see that I actually was moving quite some pressure into the trail foot. Yeah, I was going really like room this mm -hmm. direction here, and this could push me back again. And that's actually what you want in a golf swing to get that actually you have this movement actually pretty early yeah so um i would say gregory that we just maybe short quick drill mm -hmm. people at home could try mm -hmm. yeah that you get like a moment arm like i have okay let's so, do that okay so so this is something uh really simple you can do so basically you take your setup imagine the golf ball is lying here you actually can put the golf ball here and what you do now is you put your trail uh, your lead foot sorry your lead foot a little bit inside before you start, okay? Now I want, you to take a, I want you to take a back swing like this, okay? You can do it like with a good rhythm. It doesn't have to be slow, just get a nice rhythm. And roughly when the, I would say when the lead arm is parallel to the ground, that's a very good uh, spot where you can start to do the step back into the original position. So it's basically, I do it again. So I do my setup, put the foot here, just for the exercise, take my back swing, and now I step basically back. And if you like really start also pushing from the mm -hmm. right side, you will feel you can um, emphasize this um, move a little bit more, okay? And this is actually exactly what we want. So it's here, boom, here, boom. And please notice, this, this is important, I'm not leaning with my body towards the target. So it's not something like, like this here, mm -hmm. yeah? It's more like I have the feeling when I'm doing this, my mass, my center of my body stays there. So I can go, I go here, push, boom. So now I have the pressure over here, the arrow will come out here, and my center of mass is right here, and I get this huge moment arm where I can actually move the arms down 
very effortless. I would say that's the, the way you do it the best. I love it, that's great. Basically what people film or see on the video is the effect of force generated into the ground. Force precedes the motion, force create the motion, and force are invisible. That's why we need force plate to measure them. Actually, and I, I would say nowadays we, we have the possibility to measure forces. I mean, I remember like I've been yeah, I mean, I've been coaching good players for years, and when we had wanted to have data like this, we had to go into a university, into yeah. a, into a, like a real studio. Mm -hmm. Now we just take them on the driving range and <laughs> pop them there, take the iPad, and that's it. And I think that's awesome. Yeah. So the thing we can recommend to any player in the world, don't try to ring the bell at the top of the swing. What creates the change of direction of the club is the fact that players are pushing away of the target. And then you will feel like it's really effortless. Yeah. So Christophe, amazing explanation. I hope people will understand that clearly that we don't want to ring the bell, but we want to push laterally a transition which causes the club to change direction before the top of the backswing. Exactly. And if you want to hear more great content like this from Smart to Move, maybe yeah. for myself as well, yeah. then don't forget to hit uh, the notification button while you subscribe at the same time, of course. Mm -hmm. And I see you over there in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.